Okay, folks. I'm here today. This is Monday. I think it's the 29th. I just got off work and I came by here. And Scott, my friend and co-worker, delivered our pavers today. So these are called Native. I asked him to leave room to get through to the gate because they're going to be mixing concrete out here to put these black ones down. And so I asked him to keep the black ones closest to the gate. He did that. And here are a couple of other um, native pallets. So these, this is my one pallet of six by six. And oh, there's the pattern right there. You see kind of a, well, let me go around the other side. I want to get my shadow in the way here. So you see we have kind of a cross, one here, one there, one here, and one here of six by nine. And then we have six by sixes in the corners. Six by six, six by six, six by six, six by six. This is what is known as a K pattern, K pattern. But anyway, get the sun behind me again. Here are all of our pallets of pavers. So whenever Manuel is ready this week, he is going to have everything he needs here to get to it. All right, I'm heading out. Thanks, guys. These are pretty. Look how pretty those are. Very, very nice. My pavers were delivered on the 29th in the morning. And I, you guys saw the little... Um, video I took of that and I had to get some extras for the soldiers. Well today I got a call from Manuel said he needed some more six by sixes so I bought another layer of six by sixes. It's 48. He said he needed 40 and I said well how, how far along are you? And he said well we're done except for cutting all the little cuts that have to go along the edges. So I'm going to go over there and drop these off and get some video of what it looks like but he's nearly done i'm going to guess it's going to take him a, a couple two three days to do all the cuts to fit everything and i'll show you what what that requires but anyway wow i did not expect him to be done so soon well i don't know what's wrong with my camera but it's giving me a battery communication error so this has to be in my phone sorry about that so that's all that's left of the sand this is all that's left of the pavers got a couple layers of the uh black six by nines and it looks like we've got some of the native six by nines left and i will be able to return full layers so we'll be able to get our money back on those but he ran out of the uh six by sixes so anyway check it out looks pretty good let's go through the gate here it's not complete yet you know they're still working Here's where we rearrange this around these rocks. That looks so much better. He said he's done with everything but cutting. So there's going to have to be some cuts. I'll, I'll, like over here. We'll have to cut some to fit in here. But, and he needs uh, some of these 4x4s. Four so. A little bit back here. This is where he probably needs those four by fours. Here's where we went from here straight over. That little bit of sun. But anyway, hopefully with uh, the four by fours I brought, he can finish since he told me he needed 40. I brought 48. So. And there's a lot of sand on here right now, but that's okay. It's a lot of water bottles. I can imagine why, right? And there's some trash, but he'll clean up. We're in the middle of construction here. This is the other side where we went straight instead of, you know, having a whoop de doo in there. So it's looking pretty good. Now let's go back out without my shadow and everything. Look back this way. 
It looks really fantastic. It's a shade. Wow, what a difference. Of course, I'll come back for a full walkthrough when it's completely done. But anyway, I thought you'd like to see it so far. Okay, that's load one. I'm just putting them in the wheelbarrow. I could see where they need them. So I'm going to wheelbarrow them back there and put them where they need them. I have to do one more load. This is a little bit more than half. Okay, I set out these stacks of 6 by 6s which Manuel told me he needed to finish the job. Here they are, I'm just going to spread them out a little bit. So that should allow him to get done. I don't know if I need any more or not, but if he does, I can get more. And then I wanted to show you one more thing. If you buy pavers pretty much anywhere, they're going to come on a pallet. And the pallets are worth money to return. So at Green Valley Decorative Rock, you bring them back with your original receipt and you will get $20 credit for each one. So I'm looking at $80 right here. And then when these are empty, I'll have another $40. And the full layers that are left on these pallets, like if they don't use any more black, I can return two full layers and get credit for that. And same for the native, a little further back. Full layers I can return and get refund. So that is a wonderful thing. Anyway, that's it for now. We'll come back and check it out when he's done. Okay, I have two pallets and two layers of the black soldiers. These guys right here. That we don't need. So I've got them loaded up. My old 66 Dodge pickup. And I will return them on Monday. And... Uh, Credit, credit the account. Um, Manuel's still here. He's almost done. He used the rest of the bricks. This is where the both pallets were sitting right here next to the uh, sand. And he's going to use pretty much all of the rest of them to cut small pieces to fit between the main area and the soldiers. So I don't know if we'll have any left. Maybe a few. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll show this to you when it's completely done and cleaned up.